Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard, still coming to you with No Pants and hopefully plenty of profits. And we've got a new deep dive on the newest investment in the Sweater Ventures Cashmere Fund we're going to do today. I do want to talk about uh, the last investment they did, which is not something I can speak to or make a video on because I'm not a lady that understands a ladies fashion brand but i did speak to some ladies in my life so just really briefly uh francis valentine is an investment that was done the last one we covered was true footage francis valentine was one that was done i will tell you i don't mean to be mean i don't mean to be nasty i spoke to a bunch of women in my life i showed them francis valentine's website and every single one of them said they wouldn't buy anything on the website take it as you will i wouldn't buy anything on the website because i'm not a female but uh, let's go ahead and let's jump into one that I'm actually really excited about, super duper excited about, which is called Lazaro Medical, or Lazaro Medical. And they do a uh, tracheothrombosis, TMB. Uh, they have a treatment for it that's not yet approved, but I think what I love about this and what I love about what Smoke Sweater does is this is such, such a great play. It's in so early. It's in everywhere like that. Love it. Love love some of these choices the team makes. Let's take a look about uh, what the team says about it first, if we can. I'm Matthew Klein, co-founder and chief experience officer here at Sweater. Prior to Sweater, I spent two decades as a founder and investor in the retail and consumer goods industries. I've been highly impressed with the growth of Francis Valentine and what they have accomplished. Oop. We're seeing Francis Valentine on the Lazaro Medical page. Just saying. Let's see if we can find... The actual why sweater investor. All right, so let's talk about what this is. I'm in here right now. Essentially, what it is. Let, let's take a look at a video. We're gonna take a look at their videos and kind of see what their videos say it actually does right here. So here we go. Meet Carol. For years, Carol has had a persistent cough that won't go away. Carol has a progressive condition known as TBM which is a collapse of the airway caused by the breakdown of cartilage in the trachea. The prevalence of TBM has been estimated to be as high as 10% in the general population and half of the nation's 16 million COPD patients. Lazaro Medical has developed the world's first minimally invasive TBM repair surgery using the LM scaffold system, dramatically reducing operating times by 50% and patient recovery times from months to days. Not long after the Lazaro medical surgery, Carol's breathing has improved and is living life to the fullest. By making diagnosis and treatment convenient, accurate, and minimally invasive, Lazaro Medical can help millions of people just like Carol to breathe easier again. To find out more, visit lazaromed.com. All right, so what is- what Meet Carol for years I didn't expect that to go. So what is Lazaro Med doing? They're essentially making a cage that opens up your airways for people that struggle with a TMB, uh, which is tracheal. I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. But I love this. And here's the other important thing. And you'll see in a minute, we're actually, as sweater investors, we're actually super duper early on this, which I really like. It's, it's a minimally invasive. What it's doing is it's basically opening up the airwave. It's kind of scrunching the airwave, making it go to a cage that's being made, and it opens it up to stop the coughing. It can only be treated by a very invasive procedure, which was described as worse than the disease itself. Let me blow this up a little bit. This is actually something that can be absolutely revolutionary i love this this is brilliant uh you know can't say the same about how i feel about francis valentine because i'm a dude um you know 6.5 million americans suffer uh uses small incisions and robotics to install so it goes in with the little robots and it does that uh exoskeleton for the trachea uh they have done r d and other devices that will diagnose the treatment why sweater invested uh, they've already gained the attention of 16 op opinion leaders in that spectrum uh, for the new procedure, and they're going to streamline the adoption of hospital systems to kickstart one of their devices. So the idea is once they get that FDA approval, they're golden. Now, key word, once they get that approval, what I like about what Lazaro is doing here is they have a lot of people on their team that have gotten FDA approvals before. And I have to say this because they say this in the stock market, you know, past 
Past performance is no indication of future success. Or, you know, the past has no indication of the future, but it's always good to have people who were successful in the past because it does somewhat help the future along. Uh, so, you know, line of set approval from acquisition uh, to acquisition. So, Larry Solar team has extensive experience with the FDA processes and device acquisitions. They worked with uh, other uh, Metatronic, I've heard of before, uh, and the senior VP. So, they mainly come from Metatronic medical device companies who were acquired. This is an acquisition play. And like I said, what's nice is we are in early. How early? Let me show you how early. We go over to Crunchbase. The nice thing is this is in Sweater's backyard. Sweater, I think, is in Denver, and this is in Boulder. I'm not a Coloradan, but uh, I, I think they're relatively close. Lazaro raised a million dollars in a corporate round from Norwell Health. Sweater's not showing as one of the investors on Crunchbase yet, but they've only got $1.3 million in total funding so far. Meaning that even if Sweater were to put in half a million dollars, quarter million dollars, that's still a significant portion of this company and a very very, very early stage. And I, I'm not dumbing down or saying what they're doing. What they're doing is so simple. All they're doing... I got my Slurpee right here. Yes, with the plastic straw. Don't judge me. Got my Slurpee right here. What they're saying is, you've got people's airways well, that are going to kind of collapse like that. Uh, this is me looking for another Slurpee straw. Yes, I am simplifying medical technology with the Slurpee straw. So you'll see that Slurpee straw right there. This is this is Richard's explanation of a Slurpee, with a Slurpee straw. And here's what they're doing. Uh, what do I have here? This is called, what do I have on my desk? All right, so I've got a magic tracking bracelet from my Virgin Cruise, and I've got a Slurpee straw. And I know this might seem weird, I know it might seem stupid, but here's what's weird. What? Huh? This is what they're doing. If they wrap around, the people from Lazarus Medical are going to watch this and go, this guy's a nutter, but we love him. They're just wrapping around the outside, and that Slurpee straw that was once squished in opens up a lot more by putting that functional pressure. Uh, this is why you watch No Pants Profits, because he shows you how you take a wristband from a cruise ship, wrap it in a Slurpee straw, and bring that Slurpee straw back to life. And then I can take the Slurpee straw, put it right in my Slurpee. I've got good airflow, not constant coughing. I know that seems insane that I'm simplifying this down to my Slurpee straw, but essentially that's what it is. They're taking the airflow right there and you have the airflow that's cut off and that's actually gone very rigid right now. You then put this uh, device around it and it's really just as simple as this. And what does that device do? Well, it reinforces the walls there. And by reinforcing the walls of the Slurpee straw, that crushed Slurpee straw now becomes... Well, now becomes an open Slurpee straw again. And you can slurp your Slurpee. Yes, I've taken medical terminology and turned it into a Slurpee. But let's go ahead. Let's, <laughs> let's dig a little deeper. We're going to go to Lazaro Medical's main website. And we'll see what we got right here. It's explaining what's going on. I'm going to stop this video if I've not seen this yet. I'm going to stop this video if it's not something along the way but that we've seen before. But let's see what we got here. Come on, Lazaro. <coughs> this is what life used to be like for Richard McGurk. For nearly three years, a 65-year-old could barely hold a conversation without a coughing fit. And even worse, whenever I laid down to go to sleep, it wasn't more than 10 or 15 minutes before I woke up in a coughing fit. The chronic cough led to sinus infections, bronchitis, pneumonia, and asthma. Still, doctors couldn't find a cause until Richard came to see Dr. Richard Lazaro at Lenox Hill Hospital, who suspected the real cause of the cough was that the cartilage in Richard's trachea had softened with age and was collapsing when he exhaled. A collapse of the airway where the opening closes to greater than 90% of, of its normal size. It takes a special chest scan called a dynamic CT to diagnose a condition called tracheobronchomalacia, thankfully shortened to TBM. Yeah, I mean, as weird as it sounds, my my illusion of a straw is, is strikingly on point for what I'm seeing so far. And I'm just coming up with that with my Slurpee here. But let's take a look. You know, it affects millions of people. So your TAM, or your total addressable market, is gigantic. I mean, if we take a look, yeah. And you'll notice, 
There's companies that us as sweater investors will be familiar with. So Curate Capital is one of the investors in here. Curate Capital is something we're already invested in. So, you know, I, I'm perfectly okay with that, you know, with getting more invested in, in what we're doing there. You know, I really do. They're working towards the FDA approval. And, you know, what, what the sweater team has said is, you know, once this FDA approval comes, this stuff might be acquired right away by Pfizer or any of these other medical companies out there. Uh, you know, Pfizer, uh, that's one we know. Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, all those other medical companies. Um, But yeah, previous treatments are worse than the disease. You know, extremely risky and invasive surgery. Most patients didn't want to, don't want to be opened up. They're doing this. They're going in and they're, they're putting the, the things on the straw with robots and that robotic precision. And it's really unique. It's really quite different. We've seen the scaffolding system extending the platform. Yeah, so they're doing it with a bit of a robotic kind of thing. It's really quite cool. Uh, you know, if we want to find out more. Not a huge website because this is not meant to be seen by consumers yet. But uh, you'll see Richard Lazaro, MD, who was actually the guy in the video there. Um, World-renowned surgeon with 35 years. So he built this to solve a problem. And they're just waiting for that clearance right now. I really, 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 really love this one. And it's so simple, yet so complex at the same time, as I demonstrated with a straw and a wrap of a wristband, essentially, is what we've got there. But let's take a look. I did happen to find a YouTube page for Lazaro Medical, which is very, very buried. But I want to take a look at the two things that are on these YouTube pages, because this is actually from two months ago. This is the investor video for Lazaro Medical. It's actually Lazaro Medical 7996. There's not much information. There's 49 views ever on it. So most people probably have never seen this video. So I'm going to watch it with you, along with you for the first time, and we'll see what we got. Back it up just a few seconds. Some of this is a little repetitive, but I assume there's new content in here. Meet Carol. For years, Carol has had a persistent cough that won't go away. Even after prescribed medication, it has continued to progressively worsen, along with bouts of pneumonia and other respiratory infections. Carol has a progressive condition called tracheobronchomalacia, known as TBM, which is a complete or near-complete collapse of the airway caused by the breakdown of cartilage in the trachea, the same kind of cartilage that weakens in the knees and hips as we age. Affecting millions of people in the U.S. every year, even otherwise healthy individuals can be affected by TBM because of COPD, asthma, gastroesophageal reflux disease, common medications such as steroids, smoking, and obesity. TBM is a vastly underdiagnosed disease requiring a dynamic CT to diagnose and thus has been virtually untreated for decades. Although there is a current lack of awareness of TBM, the prevalence has been estimated to be as high as 10% in the general population, with approximately half of the nation's 16 million COPD patients likely suffering from TBM. Until now, the only option for people like Carol has been extremely risky open surgery or accepting a significantly impacted quality of life and even death if left untreated. Lazaro Medical, co-founded by the pioneering leader in minimally invasive robotic surgical repairs, Dr. Richard Lazaro, has developed the world's first minimally invasive TBM repair surgery using the LM scaffold system. This system dramatically reduces operating times by an estimated 50% and patient recovery times from months to days. Under the tutelage of Dr. Lazaro, a rapidly growing number of the most highly regarded hospitals have adopted our minimally invasive TBM repair surgical method. And with the future introduction of the LM diagnostic scope developed by Lazaro Medical, quick and accurate diagnosis of TBM will become possible in the comfort and convenience of the doctor's office. Not long after the Lazaro Medical surgery, Carol's breathing has improved to a point where she can enjoy exercise again and is living life to the fullest. By making diagnosis and treatment convenient, accurate, and minimally invasive, Lazaro Medical can help millions of people just like Carol to breathe easier again. To find out more, visit LazaroMed.com. As, as an investor, I love that. Look, let's not lie. It's an investor video. 
It's put at investors. But let's take a look. Uh, this is CBS New York. This is a media reel they put out as well. Again, these both have very few views, but it gives you a good idea. And I'm sorry for that open chest thing, but I think it really shows they're doing a robotic surgery that goes in and does what it needs to do without needing to do that whole open chest thing. So I love it. Let's take a look at this video and then we'll wrap it up. This is what life used to be like for Richard McGurk. For nearly three years, a 65-year-old could barely hold a conversation without a coughing fit, and even worse. Whenever I laid down to go to sleep, it wasn't more than 10 or 15 minutes before I woke up in a coughing fit. The chronic cough led to sinus infections, bronchitis, pneumonia, and asthma. Still, doctors couldn't find a cause until Richard came to see Dr. Richard Lazaro at Lenox Hill Hospital, who suspected the real cause of the cough was that the cartilage in Richard's trachea had softened with age and was collapsing when he exhaled. A collapse of the airway where the opening closes to greater than 90% of, of its normal size. It takes a special chest scan called a dynamic CT to diagnose a condition called tracheobronchomalacia, thankfully shortened to TBM. Then Richard became the first patient in the world to have his TBM repaired robotically. It's an operation that used to be so invasive most patients refused it. Now the robot allows Dr. Lazaro to stiffen the softened trachea. By sewing a, a mesh that's woven out of suture material to the back of the trachea and the bronchial tubes that adds rigidity. And over time, more scar tissue will come down and make that support structure more durable. Richard's cough and related medical problems are gone, and he says he sleeps like a baby. He's overwhelmed by the difference. Oh, man, such a game changer. I just get it. Saved your life? Yeah. Now, since that first surgery, Dr. Lazaro has performed more than 50 similar operations. He says TBM is under and misdiagnosed because it looks like so many other lung conditions. But if there's a chronic cough and medications don't work, a dynamic CT scan could reveal the real diagnosis. So actually something really cool I learned from that video. You might say, hey, that's the same video we saw before. But these are the little things you notice, is there was something on that doctor's jacket, on, on Richard Lazaro's jacket. And it starts to make a lot more sense because the main investor is Northwell Health, which is the hospital system he works in. So really, if we look at the investors, it's, it's Northwell Health and the Colorado Office of Economic Development and Sweater. I love this. This is great. It's a great investment. It's a feel-good investment. It's going to help people. And when they get acquired, you know what it's going to do more than anything else? It's going to make us sweater investors money. I love it. I love it. I love it. Just as one other update, you know, as I've been doing this, I, I've never lost the faith in sweater or anything like that. I've been adding $250 more every single month. And you see, this is where I currently am. And unlike my other stock accounts, I can look and I can see the NAV in this one keeps going up. Please let it keep going up, because sweater is the one, uh, the one ray of sunshine in my investment life right now. No, I understand it's going up. Just FYI, it's going up because what's happening is they are making money on the money that's sitting waiting to be invested. So they're taking that interest and raising the NAV by it. That could change at a future point in time, given the valuations of companies in the future. Uh, but I really, really love Lazara Medical, and like out of out of all of these. And I, I've loved a lot of sweaters investments. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm looking. Lazaro Medical is still my number one. I'm scrolling. I like true footage. I did ask a question on true footage on whether it would be, uh, we, we have a private call. If you are a sweater investor, make sure you jump on that private call. But one of my questions I was able to ask is, you know, true footage right now, everyone's an employee, whether that could be more of a gig thing. Um, yeah. You know, out of all of these, I like a lot of these. I'm not going to lie, but I'd say this is pretty much right up there with Early Bird. I'd say I'd put Lazaro Medical and Early Bird at the top two, and honestly, I'd probably put Lazaro Medical above that. I really, really love what's going on with Lazaro Medical. That's a look at the latest investment in the Sweater Cashmere Fund. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. As they come in, we'll do some videos on them. Again, Francis Valentine is just not something I could speak to because... uh. 
I buy Hawaiian shirts for $2 in the Caribbean. I don't buy fancy designer clothing. Sorry. But if you have any questions, leave them below. Uh, and as we get more sweater investments, I'll be right here helping us along. So Retro from No Pants Profits reminding you that when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose. And that's your shirt. Have a great one. Bye.